Hi guys and welcome to the channel and today we're making vegetable pasta. gonna get this vegetable um, pasta on the go it's pretty simple but I've cut everything up ready I've got one of those choppy choppy things so everything's about the same size so we should cook a little bit quicker so obviously a wee glug of oil and because oh, the potatoes take probably the longest I'm gonna pop them in for a couple of seconds I'm going to toss up in that oil. Stray potato! Stray potato. Potato! Oh, oh. No. Yeah, it'll be hot. Did you burn? No. Oh, I'm on fire! Mm. And the same with the carrots. We're going to pop them in a bit early too. Carotten. Carotten. Is that right? What, in Welsh? Yeah. No. No. <laughs> um, oh, what's it called in Welsh? Carrot. It's a really strange name. Um, Carrot. No, no. Um, Carroch. No. <laughs> you put me off now because it, it's one of these words that's kind of moron. <gasps> mm hmm. You're Mor cooking morons! It's no moron, not morons. Um, and I think it's, wasn't everybody asking um, Alexa something about, um, what's he called, the Prime Minister? You should know, you're Welsh. No, the Prime Minister. Prime, oh, not the First Minister of um. No, not Welsh. the First Minister, the Prime Minister, uh, Bo Bojo. So as they were asking, um, something about 100 bojo and carrots in Welsh and it comes out with that he's a moron. <laughs> so. And if you want something really funny, ask um, Alexa, what is 100 in Welsh? One. You can't hear it. No, and lucky you can't hear it, otherwise we'd get demonetized. Not that we've monetized yet, but we want this video to go towards things like that. So yeah, try it at home, folks. So, why is this sticking? Hmm? I guess you didn't clean it well. Uh, you cleaned it? <laughs> so there you go. So, no, I, uh, I don't know. I think it's um that middle bit has. It's the middle bit, stage. but it gets really hot as well. It's, it's lost in some white coating. ceramic yeah. coating. How thing. does it do that? No, it shouldn't I... do that, should it? No, it? It's a good pot. I do love this pot. So now that that's had a good old stir, I'm going to add the onions. What's that rectangular thing? What's this? This is called garlic. It's rectangular because it's, it's oddly. Frozen. It's the new boon in life: frozen chunks of garlic. It's pure garlic. I like it. Is it? Yeah, it's pure garlic. Mm -hmm. So I also can now add a little bit of chili just to give it a little bit of heat, and some oregano, and some tarragon. Tarragon. Mm, just a splash. You have time, no? Time. It's time. Okay. Not time Ooh. Sounds like it's... That onion is... Ooh. Okay, see so it's all coming together. <coughs> Mushrooms. And crochets. <coughs> oh my god, that something strong in there. Look at that chili was strong. Oh, <laughs> my eyes are starting to stream. Oh, it's really streamy in there. Oh, look. Oh. So, um, yep, give this a good old mix up. 
What that? What that? That's tomato paste. Give it a good old mix up. A good old mix up. Good old mix up. You want to cook that paste off, otherwise it gets a tiny bit bitter. Um, as always, if you're using tomato, I'm just going to put a wee sprinkling of sugar. Just to cut through the acidity. Doesn't that sound like I know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. yeah. You put in five tablespoons there, actually. No, I didn't. It's sprinkling. And then, tin of tomatoes. And we're now going to let this cook for, or simmer, for... Hmm, I'm gonna say 10 minutes on a very low heat with the lid on. You want to keep the moisture in. And I'm hoping those crochets and the carrots and the potatoes will leave out their juices and make this a bit more saucy. There you go. Okay, so while that is now cooking I'm going to reduce a wee bit I will cook the pasta off and then in five minutes time I'm going to add a handful of spinach into here just for that iron lid on we're done yeah. how easy was that okay so this has been cooking for about two eight minutes or so as you can see it's kind of thickened up nicely I've added a small, small, probably about three tablespoons of water in there, just to give it some sauciness. And now I'm going to add some spinach. Got that spinach compared to the yeah. baby spinach. By the way, there. all the veg and stuff you've seen today was bought by Charles Stamper in Edinburgh. At, um, Charles, at Stamper. Charles Stamper. Well, they actually deliver. So oh, right, okay. It's a 20 pound box and we've got heaps of veg like potatoes, sweet potatoes, like new potatoes, there was carrots, cabbage, spinach, mushrooms, broccoli. couchettes, broccoli. broccoli and cauliflower. Huge amount of food and really nice um, farm grown stuff. None of this forced nonsense. So uh, I highly recommend them. We've That's used, I think we've used them before. The only yeah. trouble this time they were a bit late with the delivery, which I was a bit annoyed about. But I'm easily annoyed about things, so <laughs> it's um, <laughs> yeah, I'd ha I would highly recommend Tar Stamper. And what I will do is I'll put a link to their website down below. And well, that's nice. I think that's good day. Yeah, I think they'll take longer though to 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 cook than the normal spinach that we buy. That's big, thick mm. spinach. Yeah. So I'm just gonna finish off the, I've got spaghetti cooking and we'll come back in a couple of minutes and mix it all together. All right, so that's the spinach all broken down and looking brilliant. Mm. And the pasta's there. And the pasta's here. And some fake cheese. Don't, be, che don't be judging Boo. people. Don't be judging. Boo! I like fake it. Fake cheese. You fake be, cheese. You haters can stay out there with your fake cheese. I like it. I couldn't find the cheese in the fridge. I know I've lost some somewhere. So in it goes. Whee! Whee! And give it a good shuggle. That's a word. Uh, it's a word. Mm. It's a good word. Sugar. And get all of that sauce into that pasta as best you can. I think that's probably one of the worst things I have to do is to try and get food incorporated into pasta. I'm not very good at it. So if anybody out there has got a nice little I don't know. I know. I know you're gonna to say to me, toss it like that, but I can't. Why can't you use another, like a wooden spoon? 
Well, then do it that doesn't, way. doesn't work. It would help. Mm. Well, look at that. Do you think that's good? There's some more sauce on that, on that side there. Oh, sorry. So I'm going to cool. turn it off. And that's dinner for two. So that's dinner for four or five. Uh -huh. But just shows you, it's like you've got some, this will do for lunch tomorrow or something actually. Well, I'm going to work this week. This I won't be getting lunch because I'm on a late shift. Um, so it just shows you what a little bit of vegetables can do with some pasta. And you know, if you're tight, money's tight and you've got kids and stuff, this is a good meal. That's a good meal. Uh -huh. If you have trained your kids to eat. Veggies. veggies and you should people because it's good for it's you good for you and humans are designed to eat greens yep but i i mean i could never become a vegetarian purely because i really do like my meat but i do appreciate that now and again you should really just take the effort to have a week of high veggies and stuff you know yeah. and see how you go i do like my carbs as well but yeah i mean high carb days but so i said hard carb hard carb high carb day high carb days i think days we right we don't have them often though so no, as you can really. see look nice plenty of food there to fill you up that's gonna fill you up and then you smother it in this extraordinarily extraordinary expensive cheese uh -huh. is this vegan or vegetarian i don't know i don't know I don't want to. But, know, I, but I don't want to class the dish as vegetarian and then shiver this non vegetarian stuff on top. I'm just going to get a fork. Oh, it's going to get a fork. Uh, uh, it's going to tasty, tasty, gonna tasty. Taste Let's eat. Mm. You loving it? Yeah. Very tasty. It's a bit of a kick. I. The spice I've used is a really fresh, grounded uh, chili spice, and it really is spicy. The carrots are just nicely cooked. As you all know, I don't like things like zucchini and stuff, but hey, oh, here we go, look. Mmm, nice and juicy. Mm. Yeah, I'm happy with that. <laughs> that is a genuinely a thrown together dish. I don't have a recipe for it, but as you can see, it's nice, tasty, and that's gonna fill you up. So. I hope you and oh, sorry. I hope you're you guys, and Gareth. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you get some inspirations from it. And don't forget, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon so you get notified every time we put a new video up. And don't forget to press that thumbs up because that really helps us along the way in YouTube. And the before is life. Always. Bye. Bye now. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye-bye.